Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Laurel Richards. We'll be discussing her fantastic poetry book, Mother and Sons. Available for purchase through Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, or directly through the publishing company, AuthorReputationPress.com. Now, guys, a couple of things here I just want to really quickly point out. Now, this is a republication, so make sure that when you're searching for her book, Mother and Sons, you're getting the most up-to-date copy. And guys, Laurel was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by Author Reputation Press. Okay, one of the best movers in the business. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, well, make sure you're doing yourself a favor and you're contacting ARP. And you can find out more information on them at AuthorReputationPress.com. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Laurel, first and foremost, Welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you so much for being a guest. How are you? I'm fine, and I'm very honored to be in your radio program. Thank you very much, Laura. Well, listen, the honor is all ours, okay? We're absolutely looking forward to this, and not only looking forward to speaking to you, but looking forward to all of the wisdom that I know that we're going to be able to receive from you and also your sons, since they had a part in creating this book as well. Now, Laurel, I know we have so much information to cover, but before we go into the book and go into the poetry, let's hold off slightly Start by telling our listening audience a little bit more about yourself and your background, please. I came to the United States because I got a grant from the U.S. government. Uh, It was called the Hubert Humphrey Fellowship. At the time that I got the grant, my field was telecommunications, and I went for my second master's degree at Boston University. I had my first master's degree awarded to me. Um, I graduated from the University of Asia and the Pacific. And after that, I went to Boston University. So after Boston, I worked at the International Telecommunications Satellite Organization in Washington, D.C. And then I met my American husband and we I remarried in 1990 and bought my first home in Virginia. Mm -hmm. I started my real estate career in that state. And with the help of my husband, I raised my four children from my first marriage with my real estate income. Fantastic. Well, listen, congratulations to you and your family and all of the success that you've been able to amass over the years. Nothing but continued success for you and your loved ones moving forward. And listen, Laurel, we're going to have to invite you back onto the network, okay? Not to discuss this book again, not to discuss any other books that you write in the future, but really just to discuss your background because it is so impressive. It is so eclectic. And I'm sure you have stories for days and we would love to hear them. Okay. But the purposes of today's interview, of course, is all about your poetry book, Mother and Sons. So without further ado, tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, Mother and Sons, it's a collection of the poems written by my family during our first 10 years of life in the United States. Uh, This book reflects our experiences in our new country, our hopes, and our dreams. So most of the poems written in the book record what we felt because we struggled through adjustments in our new environment. And um, my children struggled because they had to be... um, They had to go to different schools, which were quite different from what they were used to in the Philippines. And uh, we had to cling to each other as a family in order to overcome those struggles. Mm -hmm. Much of the poetry in the book 
will reflect our love for each other, how we enjoyed our new family and environment in the United States, and our happiness at finding a new home. Let's go into the concept of inspiration. Now, we know that, as you just stated, this book is a collection of poetry that you and your sons compiled. And it all revolves around your different experiences and transitioning from the Philippines here to the United States. Now, I'm curious, Laurel, because that very easily could have stayed something between you and your sons. I mean, that could have been poetry that you all wrote and you read for each other and you utilized as a family thing. But you didn't stop there. You put the book out for the public to be able to partake in. Now, I'm very glad that you did so. I'm curious as to what was the inspiration behind that? We found that uh, our new country, the United States of America, is a melting pot for immigrants. And we found that the strength of the country is because there is new blood coming in Mm -hmm. from these immigrants. And they they had their talents to give. They had their energy And that combined with the talents and the energy of the uh, Americans who have been here for a long time. And so we wanted to give something back to our new country. That's why we wrote the book. Again, here in the line with Laurel Richards. We're discussing her fantastic poetry book, Mother and Sons, available for purchase through Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, or directly through the publishing company, authorreputationpress.com and make sure that when you're heading on over there, you're picking up the newest edition available. You know, Laurel, next question that I'd love to get into, and listen, I have to hurry up and go here, okay, because my listening audience is going to get very upset with me if I don't hurry up and ask, okay? So let's just move in this direction here. We know that this is a poetry book. Uh, Laurel, I'd, I'd love to hear one of the poems, and I know my listening audience would as well, so if you have any that are readily available, We'd love to listen. The title is Ode to Dreamers. There are certain people with the very gift of creativity and a great gift of imagination resting on their fingertips. They spin webs of magic. In their minds, they see stars, seeing things that most of us fail to discern. Why do we lose our grasp on the wildest fantasies fond in our colorful, creative minds, yet these we spurn? I do not believe that dreamers never succeed, nor do they live in their own world of make-believe. I feel as if dreamers have the real grip on the wonderful reality or a horrible truth. They are very fortunate, yet some see the gift as a blessing in disguise and others let it fly away. Beautiful. Beautiful, Laurel. Thank you very much for sharing that. I'm, I'm curious. We know this is a culmination of poems between you and your sons. How did your sons get involved in this process with you? Um, my sons and I, we, we wrote poetry through the years. And uh, when we wrote poetry, we read it to each other, but we didn't actually share it with the general public. Mm-hmm. So I gathered all the poems that they wrote, and I asked them, which ones of the poems would you like to share with your friends? And that's how we came up with the poems in the book. It was just basically um, a craft activity that we were doing to share with our friends in church. Right. What would you say was a highlight for you? Given this entire process between writing the poetry, between comprising the narrative, publication, what would you say was a highlight for you? Or if not a highlight, maybe something that surprised you that you weren't expecting before you embarked upon this journey? My book got to the U.S. Library of Congress. That was a surprise. Wow. Wow. You know, Laurel... (sighs) 
Guys, can we take a second and just appreciate what she just said? Her book, Mother and Sons, if the poem that she just read didn't inspire you, if the story that she was telling us about her background and her journey didn't inspire you, guys, this book has been added to the Library of Congress. That is unbelievable, Laurel. Congratulations on that. That is, that is fantastic. It was. And Author Reputation Press was the one that worked it out for me. And I'm very grateful to the staff at Author Reputation Press that they were able to get me into the library, into the U.S. Library of Congress, because I believe that's the largest library in the whole world. Your book Of course, there's so many poetry books that have been written about love, about family, about all types of emotions. Now, I'm curious, in your opinion, Laurel, what do you think separates your book from other poetry books in its category? We're not really uh, professional poets, uh, and we're not really in the realm of William Shakespeare or Elizabeth Barrett Browning or Robert Browning, uh, who are my favorite poets. But I am very happy that I have contributed something that will survive me when I leave and when I end my earthly journey. The book will still be there in the U.S. Library of Congress in bookstores all over the U.S., Canada, U.K., the Middle East, and India. And I'm hoping that if anybody who is down on their luck or is feeling discouraged reads what we have put on paper, that they will somehow know that God is always there for them and they will get through the difficulties, they will get through the struggles because God is always with us wherever we are. Absolutely. Listen, Laurel, I can't think of a better way to close out such a fantastic interview than with another one of your poems. So if again, if you have another one available, we're all ears. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, the first poem that I read was the poem written by my eldest son, Carlos. So I'm going to read the poem written by my second son, Victor. And the title of the poem is What is a Home? A home is a special place where strong leaders are born and bred. A home is where you are fed body, mind, and soul. A home is where you are safe and secure, protected from all harm. A home is where you can rest to renew your strength and spirit. A home is where you are healed, not just your wounds, but also your heart. A home is where you are forgiven and relieved of past mistakes. A home is where you are loved and accepted for who you are. So when you are out there striving to do your best, do not get discouraged because you can always come home. You know what I love so much about this? Is we've discussed so much information and yet we've barely scratched the surface. I mean, there's still so much left to be discovered. Guys, I, I'm going to say it for you. and I'm going to say it for you once more, even though I know I don't have to. But just to re-impress it, here on the line with Laurel Richards, we just finished discussing her incredible poetry book, Mother and Sons, available for purchase through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, authorreputationpress.com. Guys, the book has been added to the Library of Congress. You know that it stands on its own. We've covered two poems. The book is littered with them. Do yourself a favor. Pick up your copy today. A fantastic book for you to have on your shelf, but an even better gift for you to get for someone else. So make sure you're heading on over there and you're picking up your copies. Laurel, this has been an absolute pleasure. 
Thank you once again for being a guest with us today on People of Distinction. You're very welcome, and the pleasure is in all my. 